You clicked on this video because you want to know how to start a YouTube channel, but you don't know where to begin. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you will benefit from. But first, I'm going to answer some questions that you might have. Starting off with, why am I posting this? When I was first starting out, there were no small creators who were giving genuine tips on where to start. And I emphasize on small because big creators often don't remember the challenges of working up to their success now, or they just haven't made videos like these, which isn't their fault. It's just not what their viewers want to watch. The second question is, why should you listen to me? As you're probably aware, I'm a small creator myself. I know the struggles. I know who is popular right now and how they got there. Honestly, I might even be in the same situation as you, but I still think I can provide you useful information that will help you start up your channel. Step one is being consistent. From when I first joined two years ago to right now, I realized that consistency is key. And this is because YouTube puts out channels that are posting often. They want a channel that is going to be consistent and that's what they're gonna put out into their algorithm. Two, posting will often drive viewers in. Your viewers are going to want a channel that's consistent and that will give them content weekly. Although here's the unwritten rule that a lot of people don't talk about. Don't post too often. YouTube will take note of this and they will often stop your channel from being put out into the algorithm. So what's recommended is one to two videos per week, but try not to go over four. And you might be thinking, some channels post one video per month and they're doing amazing. That's true. And I've seen a lot of channels be very successful from only posting one video per month. But I think when starting out, it's great to just be consistent with what you're posting. Here's some statistics for my channel that show this. From January 1st, 2023, all the way to November 30th, 2023, I was not consistent whatsoever. In total, I had posted 10 videos in 11 months. That's not even averaging one video per month. Then I began working really hard during Vlogmas, which is December 1st to December 31st, up until now where I've posted 25 videos. I have posted almost triple the amount of videos in three months than I had in those 11 months. And I have gained 3,520 orchids from being consistent. Also BTW, orchids means my subscribers. I'm extremely proud of this and I just wanna say thank you guys so much for helping me achieve these goals. But you can also do this too by just creating a schedule, which is when to post, best time your audience watches, what to post, you know, stuff like that. Just stay on top of it. When you're first starting out, YouTube probably won't provide you with this information. But once you start reeling those views in, YouTube will give you analytics and that will show when your audience is watching and the best times to post. So from January 22nd, 2022, when I had first created my channel, all the way up to November 30th, 2023, I'd gained 426 orchids. But by being consistent in the past three months, I gained 3,520. So thank you. Step two, types of videos to post. Honestly, I'm working on this too, but here's what I have realized. You have to know what's going on in your community. For example, if you're a vlogger or a blogger, I know that right now the idea of being becoming that girl or clean girl is super popular right now. And probably slime isn't as much. But it's also depending on what audience you're trying to reach. So just make sure of that as well. Just like in the ASMR community, new triggers are going in and out daily. And you just have to be on top of it. Again, why is this? It's because viewers are going to watch new and updated things. When trends are coming out, people are watching those videos. They want to know what's new, what's fresh. But I also think people like random and creative videos that you have just thought of. Maybe you have this new video idea, just post it. Being yourself is also key and having your own niche is also perfect as well because YouTube also craves having a wide variety of creators. So just being you is the best thing that you can do. For example, I had made a video ASMR, but I made the triggers. One day I just thought of this random video idea and I did not expect it to blow up, but this is now my most viral and requested video. So what I think I'm trying to say is just try to balance um, making videos that are popular and also being yourself. Step three is thumbnails. Thumbnails is the first thing that catches a viewer's eye when they're scrolling through their feed. Okay, so let's play a game. I'm going to ask you to look at three thumbnails of some videos I posted, and I want you to see which one catches your eye the most. I will count down from three seconds, and I just want you to take note of which one that you looked at first. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. If you looked at this video, you are with the majority of those who had seen this video, and 
clicked on it. So creating an eye-catching thumbnail is key. Some ways you can do this is good lighting, good quality, and your own style to it, such as animations, lettering, etc. That might catch your viewer's eye when they're scrolling. Also, viewers that watch you are going to want to watch your content. So by making your own trademark or your own style to your thumbnails is what's going to reel those viewers in. Okay, step four. How long should I be making my videos? Personally, I make my videos between 8 to 13 minutes long, but most creators make their videos between 8 to 15 minutes. This doesn't mean that you can't make longer or shorter videos. It's just what most channels are averaging. But here's a tip. Most attention spans are between 5 to 8 seconds. So you need to hook your viewers in so they want to keep watching during those few seconds. Maybe show some behind the scenes footage. Or for ASMR content like me, you want to have a tingly introduction that showcases you or your video. You have to make them feel like they have to watch what's next. Persuasion. Some things to make viewers want to keep watching is different graphics, angles, pop-ups, anything that will drag them in for longer. Step 5. What will you need? Honestly, all you need is a phone. I record on my phone and I can still record, edit, and upload with only my phone. Whatever you're watching this video on right now is probably perfect enough. I know some creators do have cameras for better quality, but you don't need a camera to make an amazing channel. Although if you do want good vlogging cameras, I know that the brand Sony and Canon is what I'm always hearing when people talk about what they use to film. Honestly, I'm not sure about that though, so I bet if you just search it up, a lot of details and information will come up on that. For ASMR, it's a little bit more tricky as many people buy a microphone. You can still do lo-fi videos or videos with those little earbuds that comes with Apple products because those videos are still popular too. But the most known ASMR mic, if you're looking for one, is the Blue Yeti. This is the one I'm using currently, and I know that Amazon does sell this and the blue yeti is also very durable and high quality and they've come out with so many different colors in the past couple of years i know they've come out with white gray black and i'm pretty sure even pink now but if you do want some more high-tech quality ones there are barnaural mics and also task camps but here's the important thing that literally nobody talks about and when i first bought this microphone i didn't know either if you are going to be making asmr videos with a phone you are going to need an adapter I use the Apple adapter. It is durable, high quality, and everyone knows the brand. They know that it will last them a long time. You might also need one if you're using a camera, but I'm not sure because I don't use a camera. You can buy other adapters besides an Apple one, and because the Apple one is kind of expensive, but I had an adapter that was not created from Apple, obviously, and it broke in a couple of months. And I've now have the Apple adapter, and it's lasted me a solid year, and it I don't ever have problems with it. So, yes, you will need to buy an adapter if you are going to be creating ASMR with a Blue Yeti mic. Finally, this isn't another step, but just have fun. YouTube is an amazing platform to start um, a channel on, and there are so many welcoming communities that anybody can make videos with. I think it's a great decision to start making a YouTube channel, and you should definitely do it if you are interested. Bye, guys.